New information to pass along on a murder mystery involving two transgender women in Prince George's County. The people who knew Ashanti Carmen and Zoe Spears think their deaths are connected, and we've learned that police are meeting with leaders in the trans community to talk about how to make the streets safer for transgender women. Our investigative reporter Eric Flack has new details from Prince George's County. Two months and three blocks separate the execution style killings of Ashanti Carmen and Zoe Spears. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I said, no, this can't even be. Erlene Budd, a friend to both women like through a support organization work. called HIPS, will never forget the morning she got that first call. The 27-year-old Carmen gunned down March 30th on Josh Street near Eastern Avenue, just across the D.C. line in Prince George's County. Shot multiple times, she died right there in the road, in the middle of an area known for sex workers and the transgender women who often provide the services. Then 10 weeks later and less than a half mile away, another killing. It was Carmen's friend Spears, this time killed with a single shot. We asked for more details about the two women's murders, but police say they couldn't tell us anything else because of the ongoing investigation. But Bud told us the 23-year-old Spears may have seen this coming, saying she worried for her safety because she witnessed Carmen's murder. Bud says Spears even gave police a description of the getaway vehicle. And it's scary. It's frightening for real to think that someone has now also completed that piece of the jigsaw puzzle by killing the witness. But that's not the way the Prince George's County Police Department sees it. The lead investigator addressing the possibility of a link at a press conference Friday. I still can't say that these two cases are related to each other. The department uh, elaborated today are... in response to questions from WUSA 9, saying in a statement, we haven't uncovered any solid evidence that leads us to believe that the same person is responsible for both murders. We have no evidence at this point that suggests these women were targeted because of their gender, noting instead that, quote, both women were engaged in commercial sex work. Law enforcement needs to realize uh, that it's not sex work that's the culprit here. Charlotte Clymer of the Human Rights Campaign in Washington, D.C., says 142 transgender people have been murdered nationwide since 2013, 10 this year alone. So to her, the idea that Zoe Spears' murder didn't have anything to do with Ashanti Carmen's, at least on some level, is just hard to believe. I would be... Very surprised given the overwhelming rate of discrimination and violence against trans people at this moment that somehow these murders are not connected. Now, police tell us they could use your help to solve these murders. If you know something, you can remain anonymous by picking up the phone and calling 1-866-411-TIPS. There is a reward up to $25,000 for information that leads to an arrest and conviction.